I was uh, coming back from the shopping mall back in 78. I had had uh, fantasies about picking up a, a hitchhiker and uh, taking him back to the house and uh, having complete control and dominance over him. No one, no one had a clue as to what was happening for, for over a decade. What happened to you in the nine years in between that you were able to stop, that you were able to control yourself? It just wasn't an opportunity to uh, fully express what I wanted to, to do. There was just not the, op the physical opportunity to do it then. So something that I will note about Dahmer that is more chilling is that he doesn't feel like he's putting on a show for attention. In many cases, when you watch some of these interviews with serial killers or people who have done atrocious things, they have this complex, it seems, about them where they're asking for attention and they're really hamming up their side of things a lot, trying to make themselves sound creepier or crueler or more evil to garnish more of that attention. Jeffrey doesn't do anything like that in his. He's simply stating facts, it seems, from his side of things, where to us it's atrocious and horrifying what he's done and what he was saying that he would even continue to do. For him, it sounds like he's listing a grocery list and, emotionally speaking, that's all it's pegging in his mind as well as something as arbitrary as that. It's very fascinating. And uh, I started, when I moved to Milwaukee in 81, uh, I started reading pornography, going to the bookstores. Um, eventually that led to uh, frequenting the gay bars. And then I, one time I brought this uh, young man back to the hotel room, the Ambassador Hotel. Uh, was just planning on drugging him and uh, spending the night with him. Had no intention of hurting him. When I woke up in the morning, he uh, had a broken rib here. I uh, was heavily bruised. Apparently, I had uh, beaten him to death with my fists. And you have no memory. I so something that I am noticing that is interesting about Dahmer is that when he's starting to say something that he did that was perhaps seen as more controversial or gruesome and, and brutal, he locks eye contact with who he's speaking to, almost to see what their response is. And this isn't uncommon for serial killers to want to receive that sort of attention from the people around them. They know that they have done terrible things and they want to be able to see those reactions in people. Dahmer's thing was all about dominance and having control and being able to see those emotional responses in the people that he's speaking to now is likely part of what encouraged him to be so forthcoming with what he had done. He knew he was caught. He had no hope to get out of any of his sentences now, but he did have this way of still adding shock value to the people that he spoke to 